see him. Yeah. <laughs> Take two. <laughs> I know exactly. <laughs> no, you look fine. <laughs> Hi, everybody. There's no doubt that we've traveled around a lot over the past 10 years or so to some pretty interesting places. And Bob's done a really good job on researching and finding some of the places that we've gone to. One of the places that comes to mind that I think I'd like to go back to again would be the U2 Memorial. What about you? I agree. Yeah. That was uh, quite special. Yeah, out that, there. Was, that was pretty neat. Have you found what you're looking for? We found what we're looking for, the famous Joshua tree. That's the location where um, Anton Corbin took some of the album photos for the 1987 Joshua Tree album. And uh, there's like a um, metal or a, a, a bronze, a bronze sculpture. Sculpture, yeah. yeah. And people go out there and they leave, you know, little memorials, mementos out there. So it's um, kind of like off the beaten path. Um, out by well, Lone Pine? Right. And, but when we saw it, it mm -hmm. uh, still wasn't well known and the tree yeah. was uh, still laying there yeah. and everything yeah. else. Yeah. I think since then, scavenger hunters and right. people I, have taken, uh, taken stuff. Yeah, I read that the tree is completely gone now, the Joshua tree that was uh, on the album cover. But uh, the, the uh, memorial and everything is still there. So yeah, I'd like to go back there again someday. Uh, one of the other places that I thought was interesting that we went to was Hat Creek. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's up by uh, Mountain View, California. Hat Creek is a place I would not want to go to again. <laughs> uh, had a bad experience there. It's a giant radar facility that listens to outer space and it's quite unique and everything. We went there, we enjoyed it, and as you enter there's a whole bunch of signs saying turn off all electronic devices, turn off your cell phone, uh, this and that, don't go any further with your cell phone on and stuff. So we went there, enjoyed it, had a great time. Uh, my dad worked in aerospace and he wasn't able to get out anymore and uh, so I decided this would be a great place to send him. Uh, I would send uh, satellite messages where it would email him the location where we're at and he could bring up a satellite view of it. And so as we were leaving, I forgot all about this stuff and I turned on my uh, satellite communicator uh, spot to, and sent him a message. And as soon as I did that, there was a bank of six uh, radar, uh, I'm not sure what the you call it. Telescope arrays, yeah. Telescope arrays, and it was a bank of six, and there are, they were about 25 feet wide or so, each one, it was huge. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, they came to life, <laughs> and they started spinning around, <laughs> and then I realized they were, they were spinning to us, and then started to point to us, yeah. and I realized what I had done. <laughs> and so I decided, uh, well, let's flee, flee right now. Yeah, so. And as we were fleeing, driving out, the bank of six uh, radar uh, dishes followed us on the way out. Yeah, the, and, they turned. And yeah, they, they, they turned, turned and towards us. <laughs> followed us and pointed at yeah. us. And uh, I felt terrible that I did that. Yeah. And, uh, so they have like a probably a wanted poster. Right? Yeah, I, I, I keep I keep thinking there, there's a wanted wanted poster saying don't be like these people and a picture of us in our truck yeah. <laughs> driving out. Yeah. Uh, another one of the places that I thought was interesting. We went to Great Basin over the summer, and there was a uh, they call it the Forgotten Winchester that they have in the museum there that was pretty interesting. It's 132 years old. And some of the uh, archeologists in the area, they found it just leaning up against a tree in uh, 2014. And nobody really knows much about it or how it got there, but that was, that was pretty interesting. That was, that was interesting. Yeah. 
we go hiking off the beaten path all the time. And you always kind of dream of finding something like yeah. that where you, you go places other people haven't been. And Yeah, so apparently this had been out there for like 100 years uh, leaning against this tree. And uh, they think that maybe there was like a sudden snowstorm or something and the owner of the gun leaned it against the tree and then it just got left there somehow. But it's in the museum uh, and Great Basin if you ever want to stop by there and see it. Uh, it's pretty neat. Um, another place that uh, Bob found along the way was uh, the James Dean crash site for where he crashed his uh, Porsche. And uh, that was, uh, there's a memorial there. Uh, we stopped at the little restaurant there and, and had lunch. And uh, they said that that uh, car, anybody that's come in contact with that car has had like bad luck or there's a lot of death surrounding that car also. And then the whole car pretty much disappeared. They don't even know where it's at now. There's only uh, one piece of metal that's in a museum uh, that is, uh, they uh, authenticated it, that it did come from the, the car. But um, that was an interesting little stop along our way to, uh, I think that was on the way to Salinas. I was on the way to Monterey, California. Monterey? Okay, yeah. yeah. And we also uh, went to uh, the John Denver Memorial oh, up yeah. in Monterey. That yeah, was... the John Denver, where he crashed his plane off the coast of the Monterey. Yeah. Right. That was uh, that was kind of special, also. Yeah, and then um, another place that we went to was uh, Ballarat. We saw the Charles Manson uh, truck that they left. Behind, uh, we tried to get to Barker Ranch um, up there, but uh, at that time, our uh, we didn't feel comfortable because it was pretty rough going. And uh, someday, maybe get over there to to see that. Right, we were by ourselves, yeah. and uh, we were getting it was getting pretty remote, and didn't want to go any farther. Yeah, there. but to see the Charles Manson uh, truck, the one of the trucks that they used to use getting back and forth. That was, that was cool. It's still out there um, at Ballarat uh, Park out there. Um, another place that we went to, uh, <coughs> the Pioneer Saloon in Good Springs, Nevada. That's uh, got a long history of uh, where uh, Clark Gable and uh, Carol Lombard. Um, <coughs> when Carol Lombard's plane crashed, Clark Gable uh, spent like three days there at the um, saloon waiting to hear word uh, from the crash site to see you know what happened and uh, so he spent time there and then there's also a, there was a gunfight over a, a poker game and the bullet holes are still there in the in the wall they have a little sign and uh, the, um, where they had to they shot into the into the wall there. Right. It's still... it's just a short day trip out of uh, Las Vegas mm -hmm. and there's quite a few interesting things to see and pieces of history out there. Uh, yeah. We had lunch at the Pioneer Saloon and mm -hmm. uh, they've done Travel Channel videos and stuff. The Ghost Burger was very good. Mm -hmm. I remember having that Ghost Burger. Yeah. Uh, quite worth it. Yeah, it's, uh, and the prices aren't bad either. No, it's, no, it's a, a nice day trip. Yeah, there. nice little place to go stop. They said that back in the corner of one of the, the rooms where we ate that uh, a lot of times that they've, they've had people that have seen like the apparition of one of the uh, old miners sitting there at the table and uh, they think he just keeps an eye on the place. Uh, but uh, we didn't see anything when we were there, but nice little day trip. Uh, one of the uh, other places I had thought about um, that we had stopped at was uh, Cadillac Ranch uh, in Texas. Oh, Amarillo. Amarillo, right, right Texas. Right outside of Amarillo. Yeah, they have uh, like a dozen Cadillacs that are buried uh, into the ground and they're uh, like they're from the trunk up, you know, buried into the ground. And um, people can go out there and they take their cans of spray paint and you know, you're allowed to spray paint to whatever you want on there. And um, it's just a nice little roadside stop. We did a Route 66 trip, and that was part of um, 
car stop on the way. Right, and there's a there's a few things to do uh, in that area that mm -hmm. I enjoyed the the Big Texan Steakhouse. Oh yeah, you'll always see that on TV mm -hmm. and. Um, What's that slaughterhouse that uh what Stockyard you, Cafe Stockyard Cafe. Stockyard Cafe. They, they have oh, the best yeah. uh chicken fried steak in the country. Oh they uh, yeah, their breakfast the was breakfast really was great. good, really yeah. good. And it's behind where they actually auction off the, the cows. The cows, yes. Yeah. 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 And we had seen that on one of the Food Network shows mm -hmm. or something. Yeah, and you, you never know it was there if you didn't know yeah. um, beforehand. So yeah, I was really happy that we went there. That breakfast is was really memorable. <laughs> yes, yeah, there's, there's makes me hungry thinking yeah, about it. Yeah, that, that, that's it. Yeah. That's, um, it's like uh, Bishop, where they have the best BLT in the country mm -hmm. at the Mahogany Smokehouse. Some of those places yeah. love hitting those places. Oh yeah, that was really good too. One of the places that we went to up in that area was uh, Alabama Hills. And uh, they had, uh, they made a lot of Western movies up in there. And that was a nice little tour. Uh, we drove around up there. Maybe someday we'll go camping. Right, right. Well, there. we've camped there out that area. In that times. area, but That's... we haven't actually camped in Alabama Hills. Right. But that would be a nice little place to camp, I think. We there's can... there's quite a few things to see and do mm -hmm. over in Lone Pine and Eastern Sierras. Mm -hmm. Right. We used to go up the Eastern Sierras quite a bit. Mm -hmm. Always enjoyed it. Yeah. One of the other places that um, I think about is the Million Dollar Highway <laughs> <laughs> up by Ridgeway. And yes. I, oh my gosh. The first time that we went up that way, I was so <laughs> terrified. I was sitting there trying to figure out a way. I looked on the map. I was trying to figure out a way to, to not take that million dollar highway. We wanted to go into Silverton. Yeah, we stayed at Silverton. Mm -hmm. uh, loved it, but uh, our current motor home, I don't feel comfortable no. taking it. Uh, it's, it's gas powered and the brakes aren't as good and the engine isn't as good. Maybe a, a nice diesel pusher yeah. would uh, go on that million dollar highway. I don't know, it's, it's pretty narrow. Yeah. That's pretty narrow, but we've been up there now. We drove it twice, uh -huh. and then we took the train in from Durango oh, to Silverton. We we've camped there a couple times in a trailer yeah, before the, the class A. Right in the trailer, and and that was nice. That was like a really memorable spot. I'm really glad that uh, we did go, but I'm telling you, I was really terrified to go on that highway. That's been featured on most dangerous drives and it is uh it's kind of hairy yeah it is spots. it is but you know since then we've done uh Schaefer Trail in Utah yeah, and, uh, yeah. uh a few other uh yeah ones. Schaefer Trail is another one that I was not gonna go on yeah but that's I finally thought if you weren't gonna go because I wouldn't go and I didn't know we would be if we would be back or not. I so. shamed you into it. You shamed me. I know he's he's good at doing that sometimes. <laughs> you know, but I'm not a fan of heights, so I'm I'm not I'm going to put that out here right now. But I'm better than I was. Yeah, that was a shelf road. Yeah. that was uh, yeah amazing. Yeah, so the, those are just some of the some of the places that uh, we've been. I thought I would share with you, or kind of still right now um, in between our travels because of some of the uh, restrictions are now being lifted so we're going to be getting out there and planning some more trips and uh, probably uh, maybe getting out towards uh, Ben country again huh uh, Rocky Mountains yeah maybe. everything's you know for the last Four years in a row we've been up in the Rocky Mountains at this time. Yeah, uh, so we're a little bit late this year. Yeah. But we're trying to, uh, and we're dealing with this uh, move to Arizona too. So anyways, we're looking forward to getting out there and doing some more treasure, treasure searching anyway. Very much, yeah. very much. So I guess that's about it. I'm going to wrap this up for today, and we will catch up with you guys down the road. Stay safe out there. Bye. Bye.